there. There's been some vocal opposition, especially from teachers unions, to this idea that the, the teachers should be forced back into the classrooms this fall, regardless of vaccinations. What, what do you say? I mean, what, what's your message to educators? Is it time to get back in the classroom this fall, no matter what? Well, I think it depends on, uh, you know, we're following the science and what the CDC says. And so each district is different. And uh, so I think we have to listen to the experts and the science and then the districts have to decide. But we, we know um, this, this time that's been lost in terms of learning, especially in communities of color, uh, especially mm -hmm. kids, poor kids who haven't been in classrooms, who don't have access uh, to high speed Internet. Just the mental stress, the toll it's taken on, on these children. How, how could we justify not returning to in-person learning? Well, I am concerned about the, the lost learning, but I do think we have an opportunity now to um, make things better. That's one of the reasons I was so excited about the American Rescue Plan, because it has so much money in there for education. I read something once years ago that the... The presidency doesn't change a person. It just it reveals who, they, who they've always been. Uh -huh. um, in this first 100 days, I mean, you've known this guy a long time. Yeah. What's, what's, it, what's it revealed about him that perhaps you didn't know already? Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> what, nothing? <laughs> no, but I think that's true. It reveals um, his character that, uh, and what I knew all along. I knew it when I started to date Joe. One of the things that attracted me to Joe was his strength. I mean, he's strong. He's not afraid to stand up and say what he believes. He's not afraid to do the, the bold things. After our conversation, you're gonna head down to Georgia to, to mm -hmm. visit with President uh, Carter and uh, his wife, Rosalind. Um, you've known the president a long time. Mm -hmm. You go back to the late 70s. You were the first senator to endorse him. He wasn't at your inauguration because of the pandemic and, and his yeah. health. How is he doing? Uh, what do we plan to, to say to President Carter? Well, they, you know, they called us uh, the night before the inauguration when we, when we were at Blair House and wished us good luck. And we said, you know, if we come to Georgia, we'll come see you. And they're good friends. But the other piece of this is that this guy's a fighter. And he's made great progress in the particular cancer he has with immunotherapy. This man has more character. And think about it. He was a great president, but look at how he's been since he's left the presidency. Mm -hmm. He's done so much good, and so has Rosalind. There's a question that millions of Americans uh, have been wondering for a number of weeks now. Major. <laughs> the first dog <laughs> is... What's, we were going to bring him in to see him. Well, I don't know if that's the best idea, based on what I've heard about Major. Is he back in the White House? He's the back, yeah. He is such a sweet, lovable dog. Well, he Biden, really is. Is he? Because I've heard that he's... He is. Okay. I, I'll take you to meet him. He's probably outside now. And then there are these rumors that the first family was considering adopting a cat. Oh, yes, is and that, that is true. Can yes. you confirm that? He's waiting in the wings. She, she is waiting in the wings. Was this your idea, Mr. President? No, but it's easy. <laughs> <laughs> so let me get this straight. Major Biden, who's clearly had some trouble adjusting to life at the White House, now he's going to be forced to contend with a cat as well. In the well, White that was part of his training. They took him into a shelter with cats. The Secret Service. Yeah, right? and he did fine. Yeah, so uh, Major's, Major's coming back, training's going well, and now the first family is adopting a cat. That's pretty cool. Here's a question, and then on a personal level. Yeah. Um, uh, there is something, we've grown, we grew up middle class to lower middle class. Yeah. Is there a moment when you're sitting across from the President of the United States in the Roosevelt Room of the White House, yeah. and you think, Deborah's dad used to say something, can you imagine? This is yeah. us. There, there are, as you know, there are a lot of pinch me moments we get with this job. But yes, to, to your point, if you'd asked me 25, 30 years ago if I'd be sitting at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue asking questions of, of the president of the United States and his wife, I would have laughed in your face. Hmm. Uh, so, no, it, it was not lost on me yesterday. I will tell you this, though. There was a moment in the Roosevelt Room. You have these, you know, these planters on the mm -hmm. fireplace and the, the flowers are beautiful. And, you know, I, I'm a curious guy and I went over and I'm like 
touching the, the planter. <laughs> you just touch things. And, I, and all of a sudden, like, the thing, like, almost falls over. And, and oh, yeah. Oh, and then How like, hard were you touching the planter? Well, I, was, I, thought it was, I thought it was stationary. Like, I didn't know it moved. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, I get all these looks. They're like, you know. You know, you know where you are. I did. I, for, for a moment, I kind of forgot. And so I almost got kicked out of the White House. <laughs> I just want to know more about the story of the Hershey Kisses. Oh, so so yeah. So I guess every president, you know this. You've, you've covered a number of presidents yourself. I guess they all have candies that they Yeah, have. yeah. They're usually emblazoned with the presidential right. seal. Right. So, you know, uh, President Biden, loving Pennsylvania the way that he does, he's decided to go with Hershey's Kisses. Okay. And uh, so they gave us some Hershey's Kisses with the seal on them. And I, I got a bunch of them for the kids. And, and stupid dad left them at the White House. <gasps> so, well, no. but I, I understand Kristen Welker said she's going to ship them. She's going to FedEx Oh, them. okay. Yeah, it's yeah, better yeah. than leaving them in your pocket. That's true. Yeah. It would have just been a mess. And, they, and then my <laughs> Percy's mush. Yeah. <laughs> and so. kids would say, ooh, daddy had an accident. <laughs> anyway.